Hi YouTube, Orange on Top here. Went thrift store shopping yesterday and checked out a couple places. This is what I got. World Missions. I got a Payday board game. Now, I know they're out there and everything and it's a fun game and all that kind of stuff. But this one, I don't know if it's a uniquely Canadian cover or something, but most of them don't have uh, well, this, this cover in this image. So I don't know if the game is actually different. I'll have to compare it with another one I find one day. But there are not too many with this cover on eBay out there right now. So I got that for six bucks. I've got a decent board game collection and I like to keep drawing on that. So yeah. So for 50 cents a piece, actually for $1.50, open up. For $1.50, I found Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, and Ernest Goes to Jail. Love Ernest, Jim Varner, rest in peace. Amazing, uh, amazing character that guy developed. And pretty much any Ernest film is good in my opinion. So 50, for 50 cents a piece, I found Save the Last Dance. Um, I'll just probably go into the chick flick section. Um, I don't really care about dancing and stuff, but I know that it was a big one back in the day. Uh, Live and Let Die, this will make one, I only need one more after this for my James Bond collection. And then I've got the, most of them except for a couple modern ones, which would be on DVD and such. Found Red Green's Duct Tape, Red Green the Movie. Uh, any Canadians out there? We all know who Red Green was. Um, oh, who he is, I don't know anything current on it, but it's a sealed package. Canadian TV classic stuff. I found Prizzy's Honor. I don't know anything about this. It's a beat up case and everything, but it's really old. Uh, it says video treasures on the bottom, and the, it's a, it says Canadian packaging. It's a duplicated, packaged, and printed in Canada. It's got Jack Nicholson in there. Um, HB Video, HG Video Productions, ABC Motion Pictures. Really don't know anything about it. Um, Arthur, I think I have a different case on this. Uh, yeah, he's very rich. I guess it's a comedy. The French Connection. I also don't know anything about this one. That's why I picked them up. If the less I know about it, the more interesting it is, right? Someone Like You. Just a, probably a rom-com. It's got Hugh Jackman and Ashley Judd in it. Johnny English. I don't have this in my collection yet. Um, I've never actually seen it. I always kind of wanted to see it. It was just sort of never, you know, up front in my face, you know? From the director of God's Army, Brigham City. Yeah, again, another one of those. That was a nice little haul on stuff that I really don't know anything about. Then for 50 cents a piece. So then uh, I went to the Salvation Army and they do four videotapes for $3, $2.99. So my fiance was very happy to see Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Nice old copy. It says 1984. I don't know if this is, and this packaging came out in 1994. So 10 years later, unless I'm wrong on something, but I'm just scanning as I go, not without my daughter, Sally Field. It's a movie time classic, a little bit. Uh, I found a demo tape of, it looks like, a, a, well, yeah, it's a demo tape for a movie or a TV show that never, never took on, yeah. Original movie. <laughs> Cody's not just growing up, he's growing fins. And I guess he turns into a merman. And he finds out who his true mother is. It has, what? what's his name, David, Dave Coulier from Full House and uh, America's Funny Some Videos. Uh, to round off my collection, I've got Naked Gun 33 and a, 33 and a third. Kind of an ugly packaging with the sticker and uh, stuff, but it'll do. Now I've got the three Naked Gun movies. I don't know if there's any more out there. Found this one and I had to buy it. It's a technical video for Neo Texture. And on the side, there's some sort of a, I bet it's just like a product and it teaches you how to how to use the product. It says it's 15 minutes. Great textures with Neo Texture Service. Anyway, don't you want to be like that person? Dangerous Minds. I've been looking for this one for a while. Great movie. Great Coolio songs. Uh, 
and of course even better Amish Paradise spin-off from that from Weird Al. Um, I'm happy to add, this is one of my favorite Star Trek movies uh, for the original series. Um, I'm glad to have this one with this packaging. I love the Klingon Bird of Prey. The Klingon warships were, were just so cool. Night of the Living Dead. My fiance was happy to see that I got this one as well. Blockbuster Classics. It uh, looks pretty old. It says it is... Actually, oh yeah, it shows the Blockbuster logo too. So that's kind of cool. And uh, this packaging was done in 1994. Yeah, it says something about 1987, but... Well, yeah, I guess it could be from made in 1987. The original cult classic, it says. I don't know. Danielle Steele, I think I don't have this one, so it'll add to the collection of uh, movies I'll never watch. Hey, there's John Ritter. Huh. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Chuck Kids movie. Franklin, back to school with Franklin. I've seen one at the thrift store, and instead of Franklin the turtle, it's in French, so it's Benjamin the turtle. I wonder if I should just pick that up, because, well... I don't know, it's, it's, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I can't be buying everything French, but it's kind of neat. Um, G.I. Jane, classic movie. Uh, deep respect to my friend Jody in high school when this came out and was kind of a thing. She shaved her head like Demi Moore and uh, for some, for kind of a, I don't know if it was some sort of artistic thing. I don't know if it was a play or if it was, uh, but it was a skit, but it, it was in front of the school basically and then she, had her head shaved and walked out like that. Deep respect. Uh, Man in the Iron Mask. I already have this movie, but it's a different case. When I saw this, I couldn't quite place where where I, I remember it from, but I remember in the early 90s, there was a show called Eric's World, and the guy, that guy, was uh, Bram from Sharon, Lois, and Bram, and he had that puppet, and I don't know, I don't remember anything about it, but the puppet is is really memorable. Like, I remember images of it. And I guess it ran from 91 through 96. Uh, but I was kind of surprised to see that. And, well, it was a birthday surprise. So, not my birthday. Lord of the Rings. Um, a classic. I remember watching this in junior high, I think, in school. Because uh, we read the book and we watched the movie as well. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm happy to see this. Clamshell's in pretty reasonable condition. Mouse Hunt. Add it uh, to, to to the kids' movie, co or I guess, yeah, PG, so family movie collection, I guess. And they'll probably go into comedy. A comedic masterpiece, as adorable, as adorable as bait. I've never seen this. I don't like olives, but it should be a good movie. Maybe. I don't know. I'll wait around until one of the nieces or nephews or something like that. Uh, General William Booth. It says it's a Salvation Army film. I mean, he had something to do with the Salvation Army. I guess he was a big preacher back in the day. William General William Booth enters heaven. So maybe I'll watch it because I know absolutely nothing about it. Buck and the Magic Bracelet. It looks corny as anything can be. But it's got a nice German Shepherd in there. Wild America's what is it? Marty Stouffer's Wild America's Wacky Babies. So, yeah, I don't know, for, for 75 cents or so, worth it. On the flip side, Jason goes to hell. <laughs> I really don't have much Jason in anything, and so again, my fiance being a horror movie enjoyer, uh, she's happy to see this. Unrated director's original cut. This was a funny movie. I remember making, having some laughs with, with this one in the theater. David Spade is Dickie Roberts, childhood star. Childhood star. Former child star. Apparently Sean Edwards from Fox TV says it's insanely funny. <laughs> it was funny, I remember. And kind of like the other one, the kitty cats. And it's, it says lion cubs, leopards, cougar, cougars, bobcats, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Probably, will I put that in the kit section or in the shelf? In the uh, tower, I don't know. The American President, Michael Douglas, Imitation of Life, don't know anything about it at all. Alphabet Soup, 
It says, uh, children will be engaged as the dogs teach them basic ABCs. In B, watch as Frey balances a boat on her head. Chundo teaches you the letter S as he prepares to eat a sandwich for his late night snack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how could you not get that? Faye presents uh, alphabet soup. <laughs> awesome. I bet it'll be awesome. <laughs> Disney is the new adventures of Spin and Marty. Again, another demo tape. So that's kind of cool. That guy there is kind of recognizable. I Am Sam, really, really a good movie. Not a big fan of Sean Penn's politics, but this is a fantastic movie. Disney's sing-along songs. And that is it. So, for the board game and the tapes, it came to 26 bucks, and then the other place it came to six bucks. So about $32 got me today's video. Probably watch a bunch of this, especially the horror ones with my fiance. I would like to watch I Am Sam again. Yeah, there's a few that I definitely want to watch again. Some, a few that I definitely won't watch. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I also forgot Home Alone 3. I have the first two. I don't even know if I've seen the third one.